Alrighty, morning people. Uh, just a quick video. Morning video of my tank. This is a new camera. This is actually my new Samsung and uh, from what I can tell it takes probably better video than uh, my other handheld camera. Yeah, the other, the other handheld camera is a full on HD camera as well, but this one here seems to be picking up the light a lot better, so it's a lot brighter and it's picking up the fish a lot better, which is cool. Uh, there's my other one piece cup coffee. It's already about 10 o'clock, but fuck. Um, I need to just wake up. I had a pretty big day of work yesterday. I went to sleep about 2 o'clock in the morning, and uh, yeah, so I've already slept about 8 hours, which isn't long. Alright, a couple of things about the tank. Um, I just wanted to do a video about the banana lilies again. Now, I did do an update where I showed these two banana lilies here which I planted. And for some, whatever reason, they've kind of stopped growing, which is kind of good because I like the underwater look. The lilies growing underwater. The two that I planted over here, one of them fell out and then the other one basically shot to the surface in two, three days. And uh, they just grow so fast. Uh, then I actually pulled it out and just plucked it off and just stuck it back in the substrate over there. And it shot up pretty high. It shot up probably about growth of about 10 centimeters in one day. And then it's been about two days since that. And it's kind of grown maybe about another 10 centimeters in the next two days. And it looks like it's kind of stopping, which is good. And if I can keep them kind of staying under water, that'd be really cool. Uh, you can see the fish being pretty excited there. I haven't fed them yet, and I've just kind of sat down in front of the tank. And uh, pretty much any time I sit in front, I think they get pretty excited because they know they're going to get fed pretty soon, especially in the mornings. But there's all the fish looking pretty good. Uh, the tank looking all right. I've, uh, it's pretty thin over there, as I was saying. I've been propagating the... Uh, the liquid gear, breaking it off and actually planting it back behind the tank over there. You can see little little pieces of liquid gear behind there. I can get it behind there, behind the wood there. Now hopefully they're getting enough light and they will start growing and won't melt back. And we'll see how we go. But yeah, it's looking a little thin over here. Uh, there's the neons chilling out. Now that uh, the punk is out of there, uh, they're out a lot more and they're not getting harassed. And as you can see, the other rainbows don't harass them whatsoever. There's the male checkered rainbow. There's his, there's his bitch, his chick. He's been pretty aggressive lately. <laughs> and she's been hiding quite a bit. There's the female red rainbow. There's the male red rainbow. And he's slowly getting more and more colour to him, which is great. It's funny because uh, I've seen all the rainbows breed in here. When I had the parapunk and the other female, I saw them breed about three times, spawn about three times. I've seen these guys breed, spawn about four times, I'd say. And uh, this chick just seems to have no interest at all. This guy, I see him trying to do his thing, trying to approach her, trying to get jiggy. And she just won't have a buyer at eh? Like, she just ignores him. And... There's that, uh, that male rainbow, the, the, the pussy, you know, it was the submissive male, Bo's Marnie. And I was hoping he'd kind of colour up by now since I've got rid of the other man, but he just hasn't at all. He's just still looking pretty, pretty plain, but I might get him a chick, see how he goes. Alright, but that's a tank as of now. Neon's looking good, rainbow's looking alright, yeah, doing a thing. And there's a the core, he's just chilling out in the bottom, schooling together a little bit. Uh, one, two, three, four. Where's the other dude? Ah, the other dude's in there somewhere. Oh yeah, he's over in the corner over there. Um, there's a bit of metal there that you can see in the bottom. That's one of my weights. Well, I had a big bit, I had a bit of a uh, zucchini in the tank earlier. Uh, the auto cat's munched it down. It's good because, uh, Cory cat seed, the zucchini as well, and every now and then the oh the rainbows come down over pick, so it's good. Um, but these guys, yeah, they're looking good. Uh, once or twice a week, I feed these guys green peas and corn and whatnot. 
just some mixed veg. They seem to like it. And pretty much the whole tank gets a bit of veg uh, a couple of times a week, which is good, which is really good. Uh, Rotala in the back there, slowly getting pinker and pinker. I dose this tank with a bit of a uh, flurry shine about once or twice a week, just a cap full once or twice a week. And I can't really tell if it's working or not. Um, the plants have always looked pretty good in here. Um, but they've always had green tanks. These crypts have always looked really good. They almost look like fake plants. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if the dosing's working or not. Alright, that's me out for today.